Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Cold Waters. We are still continuing our North Atlantic 1968 campaign, where at the end of last episode, we were tasked with moving up into the Greenland Sea to intercept a resupply convoy. So, we're going to do that. We had just gotten out of Holy Lock where we... Wow, that's a lot. And it looks like that one is going to be what our target is. It's moving slower than the rest. <clears throat> and we're just going to stop right here so that we are... Ooh. Okay, a storm with calm seas. I'm not sure what to expect for the noise level there. And I wanted this to be symmetrical. I, I guess it didn't really matter which tubes they're in, but yeah. And a moderate surface duct and a weak thermal layer at 120 feet. So we can still hide underneath the layer and uh, fire the Mark 16s, which have a depth, they're a maximum depth of 180, I believe. But, uh, yeah, I hope it's, I hope it's noisy, but not too noisy because if we're looking at a hundred decibels or more we're gonna have to get really close just to even hear anyways let's go in on sonar new contact rig ship for ultra quiet 92 so it's not so bad on sonar new contact bearing one zero seven designated sierra two and we'll go ahead and scroll through these. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as escort. I'm guessing this is a merchant of some sort. Hmm. I don't think I'm close enough to be able to accurately identify this. Although I guess it could also be a... maybe a submarine? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. All right, so we're looking at either a, well, an alligator, which uh, I don't think that's what it is. <clears throat> a Don or an Ugra. Uh, we're looking at either of those. I think it may be an Ugra. It looks like there's something trying to peek through right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Con that's sonar. what it is. Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Never mind. I'm not going to turn. <clears throat> when uh, the numbers on this cache and start reading uh, closer to, to zero or greater, I'll probably dive down to like 123, 124 feet. Hopefully the noise levels don't prevent us from 
getting good solutions fast, rapidly. You know what I mean. I suppose I can accelerate time a bit. Well, there's the cash in. Only 51% solution on the Uger. And this cash in is. Make depth 150 feet, die by. And also sped up. So that's really going to help. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. So 120 feet. Yeah, we're under the layer here. Uh, it's only a weak layer, but it'll help out a little bit. How on earth were you able to just point your nose directly at me? Seriously. Well, Ugra can only go 17 knots, so we'll just go ahead and hit the cache in here. Wait a second. I don't think there's a need to do that. Um, this arrow is pointing up, but the speed is slowing down. Okay. Come left to zero four four helm. I Let's narrow our profile as much as we can. Not much else we can do to avoid active sonar. Okay, he's speeding up now. So, actually turning my nose northeast might actually help out. Con, helm, steady course. Wait. How? Please don't ping. Come left to zero, zero, zero. Helm, I. 'ately he's nowhere near picking us up on passive so maybe we can get away with remaining undetected I still can't tell what the hell this thing is probably an Uber this guy is kind of far back make turns for zero knots maneuvering eye just go ahead and go on ahead. Very close to to being discovered here. Back emergency, maneuvering eye. Yeah, let's just back up. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots.
So it looks like these guys will be, I mean, typically they do run in a line. So, I mean, 2.8 kilo yards, that, that is pretty close. All right, so backing up has definitely helped us out a bit here. And the Cashin is speeding up again. That is good news. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. Still not sure which exact route this Ugra is going to take. <clears throat> and we are now in the Cashin's baffles. Con maneuvering, making turns for. Make turns for one zero knots, maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for. Oh, one, zero, right. <clears throat> Ugra. Seven eight helm I rig ship for ultra quiet. Ugra has the sonar as well. I am about to be discovered here. Coming right up into me. Well, if the Ugra doesn't uh, ping anymore, we should be able to put a Mark 16 right into the side. And being this close, I would rather be at uh, periscope depth <clears throat> so that I am able to, uh, you know, get a point blank shot because I. I'm still not sure of the rate of ascent. Yeah, we are very danger close. If he pings, I'm screwed. He's gonna speed up, ruin my shot. Dive at four, five feet. Come left to zero, six, five, helm I. Let's just watch this guy move in. <clears throat> nice broadside target there. But too late. Con helm, steady course. Come right to one, Where's one, the floor six, at? 1914, so we can get as low as we need to, and we are. <clears throat> Make depth seven, zero, zero feet, die by. Try and get this Ugra corpse between me and the Cashin. Yep, not even close to hearing me, even at 10 knots. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero knots. Con helm, steady course. Con sonar, lost contact. See. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering on. He's definitely going to be making his way towards me. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Come left to 
zero nine two Helm I. I may end up having to sink this Con, passion after Helm, all. Steady course. Should be able to hear the Cashin again. Unless he is already that close. <clears throat> Come left to zero seven nine Helm I. Con Helm, steady course. Of course, we're also traveling at fifteen knots. Rig ship for ultra quiet. That might have been why we weren't hearing the Cashin. Con sonar there he is. Contact on Sierra one bearing three zero six. Should be moving at, I don't know, a really high rate of speed. That's fine. I really hope this uh, activation point isn't too far out. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Neat. I may need to be uh, bugging out in, a, in short order. We shall find out. 4,700 tons, that's going to require more than one of these uh, Mark 37s. This is lining up to be a good, good uh, torpedo. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one, last bearing two, eight. Come left to zero five zero. Hell high. Not that one. Oh straight line. Wait, really? Yes. No. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, eight, four. Man, this detection cone is short. <laughs> oh, no, 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 go left, go left, go left. Oh, I think we've missed it. Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Mm, maybe not. Come left to three zero seven Helm I. Maybe we did. Oh, there you are. Oh, come on. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two, six, three. 
well, it looks like we may be able to sandwich this cash in here. Who still can't hear me because he's traveling so damn fast. Con, helm, steady course. I can't be wasting too many of these torpedoes. Come on, lock on. If I can steer over here, or if I can steer the cash in over there, we might be in a good position to do something pretty devastating. There we go. Well, I guess we're just going to end up chasing him. Fortunately, we we have a lot of time. And this cash is probably about to turn left again. Yep. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Wait, which way are you going to turn? Or are you just going to stay straight? Wait, you are attempting a dodge. Okay. Um, yeah, no, this guy is just going to keep spinning in a circle, I think. Wait. Yes. Keep spinning in a circle. Not because I'm at 700 feet. Shoot two four, I sir. Let's just go ahead and aim this directly at the cashin while apparently propulsion is knocked out. Even though this thing took a hit on the nose. Nope, nope, speeding up now. Fuck. And, uh... Con, torpedo room, two, two, ready. Yep, still speeding up. Oh no, Cat definitely going to catch up. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. 
this should be the end of our little cash-in problem. Although it's not really a problem. I could have uh, flank speed, uh, yeah, I could have gone flank speed in the opposite direction and probably could have exited the encounter by now. Oh, my dear Cashin, there's no avoiding the inevitable. Right in the screws. Okay then, let's get this tube loaded, and we can get out of here. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Nice. Alright, go ahead and leave combat. Cash in an Anukra, that's all there was. Only four Mark 16s left. Superb effort in locating and eliminating the enemy's ability to replenish their submarine force at sea. Keep up the good work. New orders to be issued shortly on this downlink. Soviet subs retreat. Several NATO naval groups have recently been operating unopposed. A Pentagon spokesman revealed that uh, the enemy's ability to efficiently operate around the Greenland Sea had been drastically diminished for reasons that remain classified. And for our next mission in the next episode, Intelligence has discerned a pattern to movements of enemy at-sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Archangel shortly for a rendezvous somewhere in the Norwegian Sea. You're ordered to find and sink this group. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships this group is intended to support, but tenders and tankers are the mission target. Well, okay. Let's just get away from all of this. Oh, there's an island there. Now, if they're operating in the Norwegian Sea, I'm going to guess that they're going to show up about right here. So, this seems like a good spot to wait in ambush. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.